Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to participate in this conference. This work has been carried out in collaboration with Federico Gonzalez. In this presentation, I will be talking about the different problems that can arise in the membership study of open clusters and the solution that we other researchers and we have found. In astrophysics, open clusters are very important because they are like natural laboratories for the study of stellar evolution as they are composed of stars of different masses and in different evolutionary stages, but with the same age and chemical abundances. These objects are composed of a maximum of 10,000 stars that can relatively young most of them less, a maximum of 10,000 stars that are relatively young, um, most of them say less than one giga years. Open clusters are mainly located in the galactic disk and most of the uh, catalog clusters are within a few kiloparsecs from the sun. The population of the galactic disk is composed of open clusters and field stars that were born in star cluster or associations and ended up in the field after escaping from the, uh, their clusters or after the cluster disintegrated. Some of the factors that influence the dynamic evolution of open cluster are stellar evolution, tidal force, stellar multiplicity, and the dynamic uh, the, the dynamic evolution of binary stars. The stellar population of a, a, a cluster is dynamically active. Binary systems are continuously being formed and disrupted by dynamical interaction. The larger uh, cross section of multiple systems increases the rate of stellar collisions and close encounters through the temporary capture of single stars. The dynamic formation of binary and multiple stellar system and the narrowing or hardening of the binary orbits release large amounts of energy that expands and heat dynamically the cluster and uh, lead to its final disruption. The recent publication of the Gaia survey has provided huge amounts of energy quality observational data for studying open cluster and uh, other astronomical objects such as asteroids, variable stars, etc. The Gaia mission launched on the 25th of July 2014 by the European Space Agency, ESA, provides astrometry, photometry, and spectroscopy of more than 1 billion stars in the Milky Way. Using the observation of this satellite, the ESA has published three editions of the catalog. In the last two editions, radial velocities of some objects are also available, and in particular, the last data release was split into two parts. The Gaia Early Data, Gaia Early data Release 3, that was uh, released in December 2020, and the full Gaia Data Release 3 that will be released in the first half of 2022. In the Gaia early data release three, depending on the quality observation and data, they calculated three types of astrometric solutions. The two parameter solutions that include only the position, right ascension and declination. The five parameter solution includes the two components of the position, the proper motion, in right ascension and declination and parallax. Finally, the six parameter solution, the five mentioned above, and the pseudo color that is an estimate of color of the source from its astrometric solution using the chromatic displacement of the image centroids, known, uh, known as chromaticity. The Gaia Early Data Release 3 contains astrometric and photometric data for more than 1.8 million sources based on the first 34 months 
of observation by the Gaia mission. Um, the full Gaia data release three will include other parameters such as radial velocities for objects brighter than for, um, 14 magnitude, broadband photometry, and catalog of, um, of binary stars, light curves of, and astrophysical properties of variable stars, light curve of eclipse in binary, um, analysis of extended objects such as galaxies and orbits of solar uh, system objects. Um, the errors in the astrometric parameters in Gaia Early Data Relief 3 represent a significant advancement over um, other astro astronomic surveys. In particular, Gaia Early Data Relief 3 parallax errors have been reduced by a factor of uh, 30 percent and proper motion are two times more passes in comparison to Gaia um, data release uh, data release two. This slide and the next um, contain figures obtained from the sample of more than 2.7 2 million objects from Gaia early data release three. These figures uh, show the catalog statistic, particularly for astrometric parameters such as parallax and proper motion. In this case, we, we can see that the parallax error at magnitudes um, 15 is less than 0 0.1 mass and increases for fine magnitudes. Um, in the proper motion, the errors are approximately 0 0.02 mass year in a star with magnitudes less than 16 magnitudes. In these figures, um, we can also observe that the errors increase rapidly for start fainting than 20 magnitudes. Um, the catalog described above is currently the most used for membership study in open cluster. But we, uh, what is a membership study? The goal of membership study is not discriminate it, uh, sorry, the study is to discriminate the cluster star from the field stars. This kind of study is not trivial. And throughout the last six years, astronomers have developed different te uh, techniques to calculate the probability of a star to belong to an open cluster or to belong to the field, which is a fundamental prerequisite to calculate any cluster parameter. There are parametric and non-parametric methods for studying cluster membership. The difference between the two methods um, is that the parametric methods assume that both groups are expected to, uh, to be distributed according to some function in as many phase space variables as possible. For example, taking into account the proper motion space, we can assume that the cluster has a spherical shape and an elliptical shape for the field. To calculate the um, cluster membership probabilities, the ratio between the cluster star distribution and the total star distribution is used. When obtaining the distributions of source from a survey, um, a, large, a larger number of data used and only a small fraction is a probable member of the cluster. For, uh, for example, and in our study of the cluster NGC 2546 in a radius of one degree and uh, with certain search criteria in parallax magnitude, we obtained from the Gaia catalog more than 47,000 objects, of which only 151 are plural members of the cluster. Um, in this slide and the next, I will talk about some recent and past work, uh, works on membership. Most authors use astrometric parameters such as position and proper motion and few authors use photometric data because the star distribution in the color magnitude diagram 
is more difficult to fit. And on the other hand, we can see that the size of the star sample increases in more recent work. Um, for example, Vasilevsky et al. is a pioneer in work that use only proper motion. They propose a model of an elliptical normal vibrate frequency function for the field um, plus a circular uh, of a circular one for the cluster. The parameters of the distribution function were found by a visual fitting of, uh, of a one dimensional histogram in each coordinate. The methods which allowed for a more realistic peak um, field distribution can be and uh, often is quite powerful, yielding fully acceptable membership probabilities. There is, however, a great deal of the te of tedious analysis and uh, personal decision involved. In a species distribution, the cluster and particularly the field standard deviation can be grossly misinterpreted, and the method is by no means statistically rigorous. Um, Cabrera Caño y Alfaro were the first to develop a method based on non parametric techniques and introduce this this uh, spatial distribution. This method does make priori assumptions, cluster and field, and the cluster members are more densely distributed than the field stars in any subspace of the variable under consideration. Cron, uh, Cron Martinez and Movitino developed a method using only photometry and position. The method named is and also parasite photometric membership assignment in stellar cluster, UP mask, and use a principal component analysis, clustering algorithm and kernel density. Um, its implementation can be easily generalized to other parameters such as proper motion, parallax, and the position in the sky, and other astronomical source such as galaxies or even non-astronomical source like cells. Candel Gaudin et al. used the astrometric solution of Gaia, Dieter, List 2, and UP mask. They only used the photometry to manually confirm that the groups identified matched the expected aspect of a clustering a color magnitude diagram, and only assumed that the cluster members must share common properties and be more tightly distributed on the sky than a random distribution. Because UPMAX, uh, UPMASK first identifies small groups in the three-dimensional astrometric space using Kamin clustering, um, then uh, the code compares the concentration of the distribution in the sky found in the previous step with the consideration and random distribution and return a binary answer, yes or no, for each group. This is um, referred to a Veto step. Finally, to turn uh, the binary answer into membership probability, they redraw new values of proper motion and parallax for each source based on its list, uh, listed values and errors and the correlation between those three parameters and it re uh, repeats the first two step. Um, after a certain number of redrawing, the final probability is the frequency with uh, which a given star passes the beta. Finally, Liu and Pang developed a method um, that use, uh, uses five-dimensional stellar parameters and it's called star cluster handling pipeline or ship. This method is directly in, inspired by the galaxy group finder algorithm, friends of friends, which is um, applicable to multidimensional parameter space. Ship employs an automatic isogrance fitting um, methods and enable to carry out the cluster identification process in parallel. Which enhance, the, uh, uh, which enhance the computational efficiency. 
Okay. Um, we are developing our codes on which, uh, with each method, and they have three parts. Input data, the code uses five astrometric and two photometric data that can be supplied by the user or downloaded uh, from online catalogs via query interface using the name or coordinates uh, of the open cluster. In addition, the user can uh, impose his or own search criteria on parallax and magnitudes. In the first part, the code uses peak detection in the three-dimensional space, parallax and proper motion, filtering low frequencies that remove the field distribution. In the following two steps, the code computes the membership probability. In the second part, it calculates the membership probability in the parallax plus proper motion space. And uh, in the third part, starting with the preliminary uh, parameters of step two, calculate probability using position plus parallax for proper motion. Um, position are treated differently from the other three variables because cluster star are, uh, are always expected to, build, uh, to be well con constructed in parallax. Um, parallax uh, plus proper motion space, but the stellar distribution in the sky may be very diverse, in particular, very extended in uh, indicated uh, nearby clusters. Um, to key point in the membership calculation, we have implemented two, approach, uh, two approaches, uh, a parametric and non-parametric approach. In this parametric approach, different analytical functions are fitted uh, to uh, any dimensional histogram of the star distribution. Any dimensional Gaussian distribution are used to describe the star distribution for the cluster and for the field. Elliptical Gaussian are used to describe proper motion, but other functions are proposed for the parallax distribution. And uh, in the position space, we used a flat distribution. In the non-parametric approach, no assumption is made about the shape of the cluster of field star distribution. The idea is similar to that uh, of Cabrera Caño et al. that is already mentioned before, starting um, from the preliminary parameters derived, um, parameters derived in all step one, a uh, sample of star are classified as members. Um, then membership probabilities are calculated interactively. In each step, the cluster and field point distribution are smoothed with a kernel and the resulting distribution used to calculate membership probabilities for the position if, uh, of each uh, star of H star. It's uh, important to mention that the code is able to deal with a star population consisting in one cluster plus the field, but may be applied recursively to detect additional cluster in the same region. In 2017, we conducted a study of spectroscopic binaries in the cluster NGC 2546 and uh, as mentioned uh, earlier, we had to do uh, we have to do a membership study in this cluster. Um, when we obtained the data, uh, uh, the data from Gaia, we found figures like this, where uh, the three astrometric and the photometric spaces uh, uh, one are represented where we can observe one cluster. When we graph the radial velocity distribution of the observed star, we find the bimodal distribution that you can see in this left figure. This, um, this was the first evidence that made us think of the existence of two clusters. Then we upload the color, color diagram for the few stars for uh, which UVB photometry was available of found two sequences. 
what supports the uh, presence of two clusters. When analyzing the cluster membership with the multi-criteria analysis, we confirmed, uh, we confirmed that the, um, there were two clusters. We recently published, published an article with uh, this finding. For the two star groups that we call NGC, um, 45, uh, sorry, 2546A, uh, hereafter cluster I, cluster A, and NGC 2546B, hereafter cluster B, we determined radial velocity, parallax, and proper motion, reddening uh, distance uh, modulus and age, using all spectroscopic observation and uh, Available, available photometric and astrometric data, mainly from the second Gaia um, data release. The upper left panel showed the parallax distribution of star with, within a circle of one degree radius and uh, greater than magnitude 14. Even through the fine background, stars were removed, the cluster are not very prominent, but the two small groups of star identified from radar velocities and re uh, reddening had different proper motion. This allowed us to um, identify in the proper motion space other stars belonging the uh, two cluster. The middle, the left panel, shows uh, the stars selected as having proper motion consistent uh, with cluster A and the lower panel the star with proper motion consistent with cluster B. The two clusters are very noticeable. Um, um, in this figure, we can see the core magnitude diagram for, uh, for all stars rather than 70 magnitude in a two degree circle where membership probability is identified by the color scale and only 357 out of a total of more than 115,000 stars have membership probability, larger than 50%. With the aim, uh, with the aim of automatically distinguishing star groups like, the, uh, like those with Gaia, we are developing Python codes. I will talk about the application of all codes described above to NGC 2546, but in this case, using the Gaia Early Data Relief 3 survey. Um, we, we run the codes for a star sample in a circular region, region um, with two different radii, radii three minutes, and one degree uh, uh, and one degree. Finally, I will compare the results with those obtained previously. These fewer uh, were obtained for the two search radius with a parametric approach, where we can see two groups in, in the observed distribution of proper motion and at least two peaks in the left, in, in, uh, sorry, in the feet of the parallax distribution of the sample. In the lower left figure, we can see that the code in a large radius doesn't make a correct fitting. In this slide and the next, um, you can see the results that we obtained with, uh, with the code. All parameters of the star were obtained with uh, membership probabilities. In addiction, we can, use, uh, we can see the dispersion of each each parameter um, in the color magnitude diagram, we included the membership probabilities of proper motion plus parallax indicated by the color scale. I am include the sample size and the number of probable, uh, probable members to show the fraction of the star belonging this, uh, to the cluster and the field. Here we can see the results obtained with a uh, one degree radius. In this case, the membership probabilities are smaller because uh, with uh, the search criteria, 
there is a greater contamination uh, with the field star. We can observe that the parallax obtained in one degree is less than that obtained with a 30 minute radius uh, due to that the fitting is, uh, is in the middle of two peaks. Um, Noya will show uh, your results obtained with our codes in a non-parametric approach. In these figures, you can see the results for the cluster A. And in these figures, you can see the result for uh, cluster B, see, for the cluster B and its membership probabilities indicated for this uh, color scale. Here you can see the results of cluster A and B together. In the position space, you can see that the first cluster is larger than the search field. Therefore, um, it is necessary to increase the search, increase the, the search radius. Um, we can also see that they are superimposed, superimposed or on the color magnitude diagram and in the sky. In these three slides, I will show you um, the results that we obtained with our code in the non-parametric approach. In this slide, you can see the results um, for cluster A in one uh, degree radius. Um, uh, here, you can see the results for cluster B in one degree radius too. Um, the membership probability is less than in, in cluster A, A due to the contamination of the field. And in, this, in these figures, you can see the results of cluster A and B together. In the position space, um, you can see that the first cluster is smaller than the search field. In this table, you can see the results that we obtained for both cluster with a non-parametric approach. In a, uh, in a circle of 30 minutes in the left table and in a circle of one degree in the right table. We noted that despite, despite of the different sample size, the resulting parameters aren't sensitive to the size of the study which is a desirable property of membership techniques. In comparison between the results that we obtained manually in our paper and those obtained with our codes, the results are consistent between the two analyses. There is a big difference in the count of stars that are probable members of cluster B, but for the parameters obtained are more reliable. Okay, the study of the membership probability is a starting point to study an upper, uh, open cluster. We are developing a code to identify and calculate membership probability for open cluster using five pa astrometric parameters. As a test case, we analyze um, the star field around NGC 2546 where there are two overlapping clusters whose um, main sequences are also superimposed in the core magnitude diagram. In our recent work on this cluster, the key point for detecting the two clusters were the use of radar velocity and reddening. But the cluster identification membership calculation was also possible with purely astrometric data and uh, in automatic way with our Python codes. In a few exploratory studies of large star field in the Milky Way, where we're able to de uh, detect several close or overlapping clusters, including a few, uh, a few cluster not reported previously. For example, in a recent study of, uh, of one five degree field, we were able to detect 13 open cluster, four of which had not been reported previously. These results show that in, uh, unsupervised, uh, unsupervised calls miss some cluster. This implies 
um, these supplies that coal still have to improve science in the in this era of a huge databases cluster detection membership uh, calculation and the determination of plotted parameters uh, parameters have to be done in a full astrometric way in these fields you can see the the cluster that we found in our region of uh, five degrees uh, five degrees with the non-parametric codes in the central circle you can see uh, the NGC 2546 cluster. And finally, in the future, we plan to add the analysis of the spatial distribution to, to the membership calculation, the parametric methods. The fitting procedure also has to be provided. We are also considering, uh, considering the possibility of having an isochronal fitting to determine cluster age and uh, a cross-checking of the cluster parameters with those uh, various existing online catalogs to check if the cluster has been previously detected. And uh, finally, we plan to make all codes available to the community. Thank you very much for, the, uh, for your attention.